So we're now here on our last part of our module three for our Flemish jig. We have our jig all completed and nice and looking professional. Um, I'm just going to show you how this jig is used to get uh, the amount of string that you need for it. Um, we're not going to go into how to actually do the Flemish twist. We have a blog up on our website for you to go ahead and check out that goes into the process after you've had all your strands measured out with the jig. So I have some bowstring material here that I got from a local archery store. Um, it's pre-waxed, so you don't need to worry about buying wax or anything like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unspool a little bit of the string and start here down on my nails. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my first nail and I'm going to tie it off. Doesn't need me a crazy knot, just, just one that holds it in place while you pull. <clears throat> All right, so now we've got it attached and we're going to go around this first one. And what each one of these nails represents is one strand in the bundle. So if I have a bowstring that needs uh, 12 strands total, that means I need two bundles of six. So I would go down each one of these for six. So I'm going to go around the outside of my first one, down here. You're going to come to your first wooden dowel, go around. You're going to come up to your adjustable dowel in the middle. And then you're going to go back down to the other dowel. And that's going to create this kind of like M-shaped around your dowels. You're going to continue up. And now I'm going to go one nail down below than the first one. So I want to do this six more times, so I have six strands in this bundle. We have our first bundle measured out. We have our six strands. We are not going to go ahead and cut the bundle from here. We're just going to kind of put it tight over here because what's going to happen is after I go down the middle and cut all my strands, this is going to cut and release back to here. So there's no point in cutting it here and then putting it here because then you're going to have two inches of string that's wasted and this string is expensive. So now I just go ahead and re-spool up the excess. The little part that I knotted on, it's going to get thrown away. And there's a few little fibers I got. There we go. So now you're probably saying to yourself, well, all those lines aren't even. Look how staggered it is. That staggering is actually going to give the Flemish string its strength. By not having all the strings cut at the same length, the jig essentially adds more strength to the string by having it like that. Okay, so we've come to the end of our module three, and we've gone through the whole process of how to make your bowstring jig. Uh, the reason why this particular kind of bowstring is a better one to make versus the endless loop for the fact that if you don't have a jig, you can still try to make it. Um, and we've shown you how to make uh, your first of two bundles for a two bundled Flemish twist string. Coming up next, we've got some more modules and then another project for you.